Mr. Garvey, why would you want to stand up to a great republic like America? We're not fighting America. We're not fighting this great government. Then what are you doing? We're fighting hypocrisy and lies. Folks try to misrepresent me and say that I do not like white people. Some of my best friends are white. The bishop, who was my friend since my youthful days, testified. When I asked him of his opinion of Marcus Garvey, he said, doubtful. We must acquire the higher knowledge of life. Black men and black women, will you get the knowledge that the white man has that causes him to be leaders and masters in the world? First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh for Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to say double honor to the uh, apostles and the elders of Great Millstone right. that rule well. Um, and uh, blessings to the whole for the elect out there kicking this word in all sincerity and in truth, man. All right, so yeah, man, hey, we're 2017. It's still the year of death, diligence, and destruction. That's right. Last year was coined by the apostles, man. You know, the year of the push. Just because he ain't in 216 no more, don't mean we ain't supposed to be pushing. So right. here we're out here, we're still pushing, man. You know, uh, we see the finish line coming, man. And because we see that, man, we're supposed to run even more, man. Mm -hmm. All right? But it was the ending of the thing than the beginning. So right. in this lesson today, man, we're just going to not keep it too long. We're willing through the spirit. We're going to try and edify you on... um. This coon Marcus Garvey, man, yep. all right, and and, so, and highly Selassie, Rastafarianism, man, and just cut that bullshit right here and now, man, through the scriptures, because the scriptures is the only thing that give us life, man, That's all right, right, without the scriptures, you're basically, you're, 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 you're in the valley of the dead, man, all right, you're just a dry bone, all right, the, the, the scriptures are living waters, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Barshem Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, you brothers going to be edified by this, man, right. but we're going to start it off with this, um, all right, we've got a couple articles to go through. Um, and Lord willing, brother's going to put them up in the uh, post-production. Yep. And uh, the first one we want to focus on an article, the title of it was Marcus Garvey and the, Uni uh, and the Universal Negro Improvement Association. If I could just say quickly, bro, this is like especially for the Benjamin side, man. Mm. That dabbling into that Rastafarianism, man. You know, believing in that whole Rastafari, that King Selassie and madness. This is really, this video is tailored for you guys out there, man. Because me, myself, I used to be in that, in that madness as well, man. But I wasn't fully dedicated to it, but it used to be something that I stumbled upon. I used to think it was deep. You know, you look at Selassie, he's standing on, on the Google images, he's got standing in front of lions and they're stroking the lions. Oh, yo, he must be, he must be like a, a sincere guy, man. No lions biting him and all this kind of rubbish. There's a whole lot of, like, crap surrounding this whole Selassie. Man. That's not true, man, right? And he's not nothing to do with Yahweh Shai, and he's nothing to do with the scriptures, man, which we call the Holy Bible. He's nothing to do with that, man. He's not, he's not told of in the scriptures, and he is not a fulfillment of any prophecies in his Bible, man, right? In the Bible. Mm. That's right. All right, so first thing, now I want to go into um, the Universal Negro Improvement Association, okay. all right? And I want to tell you what it means, and you can get it on Wikipedia uh, for yourself. Like I said, all the links are going to be put in post-production, Lord willing, anyway. But we're going to read it for edification purposes. It says the, uh, the Universal Negro Improvement Association. All right, first, straight off the bat, you hear improvement of, of a Negro, man. Like, we need like we need to be improved. Yeah. And really and truly, man, hey, all we need to do is follow the law, statutes, and, and the commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. There is no improving the scriptures. If we were living in the bounds of the scriptures, there is no need. That's why the kingdom is going to be so beautiful. That's right. Because we're going to have the Lord's written within us, man, on our hearts, man. Yep. All right. And that's that's going to be the kingdom of heaven, man. No one's going to be going on. Yep. All right. So there ain't going to be no need for improvement, yeah, man. There's no improvement in Esau's kingdom, man. You that's can't right. improve ourselves while we're under this so-called white man, right? We can't do it. It's impossible. The only way we're going to reach that level of perfectness, like the brother said, is when the, the law, statutes, and commandments are embedded inside us, man. That's mm -hmm. the only way we're going to be perfect. It's not going to happen in this kingdom, man. This kingdom is going to have to go down first in order for us to obtain that perfectness that we see within the house. Right? Carry That's on, right. It says, it says the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League. Right, so that's what basically Marcus Garvey was pushing, man. Yeah. Let's see what it means. It says, it is a black nationalist fraternal organization founded in 1914 by Marcus Mosiah Garvey. Mm -hmm. The organi organization enjoyed its greatest strength in the 1920s prior to Garvey's deportation from the United States of America, after which its prestige influence declined. 
And why did it decline, man? Why? Because it wasn't the program of the Heavenly Father. Yeah. Right? You don't see this word declining, man. Right? As, as the scriptures say, the gates of hell shall not prevail, man. That's and right. you can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, man. Right. Right? If it be of men, it shall come to naught. And this thing that Garvey was, was into, man, that was of men. Yeah. All right? And he was going about to establish his own righteousness, which we're going to get into the scriptures a little bit later. But right. now, I wanted to focus on the main article. Alright, so now we're just going to ch chop it up, man, Lord willing through the spirit, and dissect this article. So it, the title of it is Marcus Garvey and the Universal Negro Improvement Association, and the link's going to be in post-production, Lord willing. Mm. Marcus Garvey and his organization, the Universal Negro Improvement Association, and it, for short, for an acronym, it's the UNIA. Alright, so whenever you hear me say UNIA, that's what it means. Okay. Represent the largest mass movement in African-American history. Proclaiming a black nationalist back to Africa message, and it's got it quote unquote. Yeah. All right, because first and foremost, man, we ain't supposed to be going back to no continent, man. That's the right. scriptures ain't talking about Africa. Where's Africa in the scriptures? Okay, Africa ain't in the scriptures, man. First of all, it was named after a so-called white man called Leo Scipio Africanus, man. All right, so why are we supposed to be going back to some continent? First of all, how did we even get there? That's right. All right, like you said, like the brother was saying before, I don't know if you want to expand on it, but yeah, they were stopped. Yeah, that's right. They've they done their research up to a certain point. Okay, we were in Africa, but where was we before we were in Africa, man? You don't mm -hmm. just stop at Africa, man. You gotta go deeper, man. Right, you've always got to go deeper, man, because that's why <coughs> the scriptures are there. The scriptures doesn't just stop at Africa, mm -hmm. right? Where, when you read Deuteronomy 28 and 68, we were taken, man, from slave ships from Africa. But before then, where was we, man? We were in Israel. We were in the land of Israel, man. If you follow prophecy, you will understand that, right? All you got to do is go into these scriptures. You know, you got to have men teach you, man. That's why we're here, you know, through the elders and apostles on down, man. We're, we're here to teach you and wake you up that you're actually... The, the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. Uh, you don't know Africans, man, uh, right? You are the 12 tribes of, of, of the book, man, right? The chosen people, Negroes, Hispanics, and you Native Americans, man, mm -hmm. right? Come on, bro. Right, it said, back to Africa, message. So this was Garvey's message. It said, Garvey and the UNIA established 700 branches in 38 states by the early 1920s. While chapters existed in the larger urban areas such as New York, Chicago, LA, Garvey's message reached into small towns across the country as well. Later groups such as the Father's Divine Universal Peace Mission Movement and the Nation of Islam drew the, the numbers of philosophy and philosophy from Garvey's organization. So basically, this is just basically a whole bunch of babble rolled into one, man. On. Alright, first of all, there ain't no such thing as a nation of Islam, man. Yes, Alright? In, for, for, in order for a nation to exist, it has to go back to a man. Yes, Alright? And at the end of the day, man, nation of Islam, what the fuck, man? Uh, Islam is nothing but a, a, a man-made religion, man. Yes, created by the elites, alright, to uh, categorize them and put these jakes into di different categories, man, yep, to yep. keep control over them, man. Like you've got the Moors yep. that were converting to Islam, yep, yep, alright? Yep. Over there in Grenada and stuff like that, man. At the end right. of the day, the so called white man's got this on smash, man. That's right. The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. He's got the power. Yeah. All right? And that's the covering cast that have been pulled over all these nations. We don't even know who we are, man. Right. Right. Isaiah one and uh, Isaiah one and three tells you that the ox know if it's owner, yep, yep, the ass yep. is master's grip. Uh, but this is the only the only time, well, uh, or the only uh, empire where we haven't even known who we were. Right. And Esau's done it in such a way, even the other nations, most of them don't even know who they are either, man. Mm -hmm. He's created this mass confusion where no one actually knows what nation they are. That's some madness that Esau's done, man. It's a complete trick. And you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans have, are the prime <laughs> ones that he done it. That's the reason he done it. So you would never come to the truth of knowing that who you was, man. Knowing that you was of actual description. You were the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You were the Israelites spoken of in the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. All this confusion has been put out there, so you would never obtain that truth, man. But that's why, hey, the Lord set up the men of the Lord, you know, Baba Kashaf, Yahweh, Shabi, Shai, man. To, to, to bring this truth out and to make sure that you now know who you are, man, right? Putting that skin back on you, man, so you can now get that breath and start understanding, okay, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. This is my true heritage and this is my purpose on the earth, man. And this is the prophecy. Yahushua is going to come back. He's going to remove his kingdom. This is all information you need to know before Yahushua comes back, man. Yeah, right? it's, it's, it's all prophecy. Exactly. Right? Because the Lord said it was going to be a falling away. Yeah. Right, but now the gathering, the, uh, the rebuilding of the tabernacle of David is right here and now. Right. Right, this is Isaiah 25 and 7. 
says, and he will destroy in, in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people mm. and the veil that is spread over all nations. Yep, yep, all right, yep. so we're in the time of the revealing, man. Yep. All right, we're in the time of the re meaning back and the re unveiling, man. Go. Pull back that veil. Now the, the nations, we're telling them who they are. Like, we're commanded to do that. It tells us in Jeremiah, uh, was it one and four? You know, to tell the nations who they are, man. Yeah. We're out there on the highways and the byways. If we get Moab coming up, oh, what, what are you guys talking, huh? Yeah. Well, but, yeah. Hey, man, you're going to go into slavery, man. Yeah. According yeah. to the yeah. scriptures, you did, hey, you're descendants of Moab, man. That's right. Or Ammon, or Elam, or whoever comes up asking questions, man. Right. All right, and you're going to go into slavery for a thousand years, as is the so-called white man, but the only difference between your nation and, and, their, and their nation is that they're going to be destroyed. That's right. And you're going to get your lands back after a thousand years, after we done whooped your ass, man. That's right. Okay? So that's that point, man. The covering cast is being destroyed, man. Yeah. That's prophecy. The Lord said that was going to happen. Yeah. All right? So there ain't no such thing as no nation of Islam, man. Cut that shit right out of your mind, man. All right? Yeah. It says, Drew members and philosophy from Garvey's organization and the, U the UNIA's appeal and influence were felt not only in America, but in Canada, the Caribbean, and throughout Africa. Considering the strong political and economic black nationalism of Garvey's movement, it may seem odd to include an essay on him in a website on religion in America. However, his philosophy and organization had a, re had a rich religious component, a component that he blended with the political and economic aspects. Mm. Garvey gave himself, claim, Garvey himself claimed that his declaration of rights of the Negro peoples of the world, along with the Bible, served as the holy writ for our Negro race. Which there ain't so there ain't no such thing as a Negro race, man. Okay, a race uh, goes back to the uh, I believe it's the French word raza, yeah. right? And it means and it goes back to your seed, man. And where does your seed come from? It comes from a, your father, man. Numbers 1 and 18. In fact, let me get that real quick, man. Alright, All right? because hey, you you guys, man, everything must be thought through the scriptures for edification purposes, man. Yeah. Once you stay in the bounds of the scriptures, you can't get confused unless you've been taught the right way, man. Right. Once you start leaning upon your own understanding, like the Jeremiah 17 and 9 says, I believe, mm -hmm. that, that the heart is desperately wicked. Mm -hmm. yeah, and who yeah. can know it, man? Yeah. You know, lean upon your own understanding, them scriptures come to through fruition. Right. Alright, so Numbers 1 and 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families mm -hmm. by the house of their fathers. Okay, so it has to go back through your father's line, man. Right. If you descend from uh, 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 Jacob, whose name was later changed to Israel, man, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, if you descend from any of them, then you are an Israelite. That's right. All right, but if you descend from Ham, if you descend from uh, Elam, all these other, other, other nations, man, then really and truly you're a heathen, man. Yep. And you were created just to serve us because we're the chosen people. Right. All right, and we can get the scriptures in that later on as well. All right, so let's continue on with this, man. It says... It says, uh, he stated very clearly that as we pray to Almighty God to save us through his holy word, so shall we with confidence in ourselves follow the sentiment of the Declaration of Rights and carve our way to liberty. For Garvey, it was no less than the will of God for black people to be free to determine their own destiny. Which black, that's the term that the, the so-called white man put on us, man. Right. All right, that just basically means word of light. That's pure darkness, man. You type the word or definition of the of the color black on the Google, man. All you're gonna see is better, pure negative, negative associations. Only negative, man. You know. So that just proves to you this this Marcus Garvey guy was not leaning on the scriptures. Yeah, he spoke of the scriptures. He spoke, spoke about God. He didn't have the name. And all he was doing was basically using Esau's system to try and get his own agenda out, man. Which is madness. You can't use the so-called white man's wicked system to try and advance your own agenda. And the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yashah, wasn't with his agenda in the first place, man. Right? The Lord is not with the color black. Right? That's not a nation, as the brother was saying, man. So the Lord was not with that whole movement. That's why it came to naught. Right? Mm-hmm. You've got the black terminology. Oh, I'm trying to find... Uh... Yeah, this whole black thing, man, that's just, that's just darkness. Anytime you look up the word black, it's always negative, man, right? No one should glorify themselves in being the color black or, or any color for that, for, that, for that matter, right? It doesn't make sense to, to, to go under the identification of a color, man. 
That's not how the scriptures were set up. That was set up, that whole format was set up by the so-called white man. A particular man, I forgot what the guy's name was, but you know, they actually came to a point where they wanted to start recognizing the nations of colors. You know, you had the Moabites that were going to put in yellow, so called white man was going to be wax and the purest, and the so-called black man was going to be black. It was all a, 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 a concoction of the so-called white man, man, to brainwash the people mm -hmm. and put them in that gross darkness as he tells you in Isaiah 60, man. Mm -hmm. That's you know? right, brother. That's right. Gross darkness, man. All right, so here we go. MarionWebster.com. Uh, definition of black. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just jump down to the sixth point. So it says, a thoroughly sinister or evil. Wicked, okay, a black deed, uh, 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 indicative of condemnation mm. or discredit. Mm. So when you associate yourself with black, when you call yourself a black man, you're calling yourself evil, yeah. sinister, wicked, uh, you're indicative of condemnation or discredit. Yeah. So you've already lost from the get-go. If you uh, want to go around, that's why our people are so lost. They're going out there with a the banner saying Black yeah. Lives Matter, man. Yeah, yeah, when they don't yeah. even understand that it's the curses that the Lord has put on us for not actually following his statutes and his commandments, man. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Jake are getting gunned down and they ain't even our people are destroyed for lack of lack of knowledge, man. That's right. They don't know who they are, they don't know they don't know where they uh, where they're going because they don't know where they're coming from. Okay. Alright? And that's why you got our people walking around blind as hell in gross darkness, yeah. like the brother was saying, man, with these placards, man. Hey, and when you actually read those definitions for the word black, what occurs to me is that the so-called white man's the real black man. He's the real wicked man. Mm. Anything you read here concerning the word black, Esau embodies those terminologies. Mm -hmm. Esau embodies all of those definitions because he is the wicked man, right? The so-called white man is the wicked. So when you're reading all these terms, it actually relates to the so-called white man. So he's the real black man. He's the real evil one, man. Mm -hmm. Right? It applies to him. Hmm. It says, uh, point seven. It says connected with or invoking supernatural, and especially the devil. Black magic, the black arts, very sad, gloomy, uh, Clamitus, black despair, uh, marked by the occurrence of disaster, Black Friday, oh my days, and what are you guys logged in on Black Friday, man, you guys are bum rushing these stores to go and get these these so-called deals, man. Yep. All right, you don't even understand that the time when you call yourself a black person in in 2017, the vibration that that puts on yourself, mm. you, you you are underneath all these other nations, man. Yep. All right, they look down on black people, man. Right. All right, you you try you try to go home to a, to a, a, a mobile, you just try to introduce it to a parent. They don't want to see a black man coming through their threshold, man. All right, the very word black frightens the hell out of them, man. Yeah. First of all, when they turn on the news, all they see is black people killing each other, man. Yeah. All right, selling crap on the movies, man. Sell it, uh, addicted to cocaine. Yeah. American Gangster will show you that. New Jack City, yeah. Yeah. all up in these uh, tower blocks. And who's running the organization in, in, in the films? It's the so-called black man. Mm. All right, but really and truly, are they really running it? Nope. In real life, it's the elites, man. Exactly. We, we don't own no planes to be throwing that shit in. Flying uh, uh, AK-47s in Glock, God. you know what I mean? All these weapons and shit. The so-called white man's a damn devil, man. That's right. But then he likes to call himself, on the contrary, he likes to call himself white, yeah. which represents purity, the exactly. opposite of that. Now I ain't gonna get into the definition of white. We just wanted to focus on this article, That's man. Right. All right. right, because this Garvey guy, man, he's basically he is a black man, man. Hey, what did he call his shit, man? That he's gonna use that, that shit to bring up all you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but well, all you Negroes, so like yeah. Back to Africa, he called it the Black Star, man. Oh, man. Right? And you know, the Ghana flag, it has that Black Star. That was actually a tribute to Marcus Garvey, man. You know, mm. the Ghana flag, that was actually a tribute to Marcus Garvey. That Black Star they put on their flag, man. So it just shows you the power at one point that this Marcus Garvey had, man. The, the hypnosis that he put on the masses, man. Mm. We're having that great speech and, you know, that powerful way of speaking, captivating the minds of you lost Jake out there, man. Huh? All right? All right. All right, so it reads, it says, For Garvey, it was no less than the will of God for black people to be free to determine their own destiny, which he's going off because the, mo the most high controls the steps of man. Okay, at the end of the day, he controls our destiny. He says who's his chosen people. He says who's going to be his subject. Okay, who's going to be worshipping him and who's going to be uh, serving his, his children, man. 
And really and truly, all these other nations are beneath us, man. We ain't, what Gavi was fighting for was equality, man. We don't want equality. We want, hey, we want ours, man. Uh, we've been at the bottom, we've been the last side, we've been uh, the last side, the first five, man. We've been at the bottom for far too long, getting passed around to all these other different nations, man. Yep. Different captivities. Look at the Babylonian Empire. All right, when the Egyptians increased our afflictions, man, twofold. All right, because when, when the Pharaoh, uh, when the first 30 years when we were in Egypt, hey, Pharaoh, hey, the, the Pharaoh knew Joseph, man, our forefather Joseph. But then there was another Pharaoh that came along that did not know Joseph. And so what did he do, man? He put taskmasters on us, man, and afflicted us, man. And we were serving in captivity there for about 400 years. That's right. You trying to tell me that we weren't having sex over there, man? Come like you ain't got some of our people scattered among them, man? Right. We're scattered everywhere, all right? But at least then we know to call on the name of the Lord, yeah. right? How do we know that? Because the, the Pharaoh that knew Joseph, it tells you in Genesis, man, that he made him a chief uh, chief ruler or chief architect. Yeah. Something chief or, architect. Or something along the sorts, but it will tell you in, in Genesis, man. I can get it later, okay. all right? But it says, um, it goes on to say, his organization took as its motto, one God, one aim, one destiny. Mm. All right, and all of that one thing, hey, there ain't nothing new under the sun. The scriptures tell you that. It's the same thing that was happening in the time of the Babylonian Empire. Really and truly, this guy was in cahoots. He was in bed with a so-called white man, man. Anything that, basically, you can't do anything in this in this man's society without his green light. Without the elites giving it the go-ahead, man. You ain't getting, like, look at George Soros, man, mm. right? He's in charge of funding the whole Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah. It's the Hegelian dialectic. They control both sides, man. So you guys are thinking you're out there, you're fighting for your rights and your freedom. When really and truly, man, the so-called white man, his blessing is the sword. That's right. You don't think to say he can come down hard, bro. He's gonna come down hard on you, man. It tells you Revelation 12 and 12. Okay. Right? They got chemical weapons, man. The shit that they're gonna be using on Jake, the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You don't think that they can do that now? Exactly. But there's a time and a season for all things, man. Hey, the white man is the enemy, man. If Marcus Garvey knew the white man was the enemy, he knew that we needed to get out of, you know, Babylon, then why would you go to the so-called white man to buy your ships to do that? Who goes to their enemy to buy ships to flee from your enemy? Mm. That don't make any sense whatsoever, man. That just proves to you he was landing in bed with the so-called white man, like the brother said, man. He sold out, man. You can't do business with the so-called white man, but you, you, you don't want to be under him no more. You can't do that. It's impossible, man. And then when he did buy the, ship, the ships from the so-called white man, they bumped him anyway. They overcharged him on the ships, right? I forgot the, the exact figure they charged him, but they overcharged him dramatically on the ships, and the ships weren't even working properly. <laughs> Not one shipment make it back to Africa, man. Hey, good, good. You know? <laughs> That's hey, man. madness, man. <laughs> hey, man, this, this, hey, this is all just, but this is that black, this is what you get for calling yourself black, man. That's right. You know, you want to be associated with that. You're in darkness, man. Yeah. All right? Because hey, names have a very uh, powerful vibration, man. That's if right. you're walking around thinking you're black and calling yourself black, that's the kind of vibe that's going to follow around with you, man. That's the kind of awe you're going to attract, man. That darkness. Mm -hmm. Not knowing nothing, man. You know? Be, be, being um, dehydrated of any kind of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. That's what comes along with calling yourself black. That's why there are people in the situation they're in now, man. Mm -hmm. Because they don't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of, of the scriptures of Yahweh Shai, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right. They don't have that information. So what are they? They're black. They're void, man. Right. No light. No wisdom. They're through, man. You know, until you come out of that and come back into these scriptures, come back into the right way of understanding the scriptures, right? Through the right men, the men of the Lord, then you're just going to remain black. Void of light. Void of light, man. Dehydrated. <laughs> you know? Dehydrated niggas. <laughs> we need a cup of water, man. Hey, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? Mm. And that's what God he was doing, man. He was trimming his ways to seek love, man. Yep. All right, going to the so-called white man, like the brother was saying, purchasing his ships, man. Yep. All right, trying to... Basically, he's saying he's trying to further his agenda underneath the agenda of the so-called white man. No. How are you going to try and build off of another man's structure, man? God. All right, his blueprint's already there. He's already got it set up. He's forwarding his new world agenda, man, the new world order. They want that to come into fruition. RFID chip, the mark of the beast, Revelation 13 and 16, mm. all right, the mark that no man's gonna be able to buy or sell. So ultimately, even though even though he was trying to form his own thing underneath the so-called white man's agenda, he'd have to take the chip anyway, yep. right? Because it says rich and poor free all bond. Yep. So or if he was still around when, when, when they uh, start pushing that chip out, he's gonna have to take that chip to, 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 to make that money anyway, man. Yep. To keep his organization going. That's what it was, man. You know? Hey, and even he, with his congregation, which we're gonna get into and touch on as well, is that 
He was taking the money from his congregation and using it for his own living expenses, man. Right? In the beginning, when you watch the certain documentaries on this guy, that's the kind of stuff he was doing. So what does that prove to you? That this guy really was black. He really was just a nigger, man. Right? He had the same traits as his priests and his, his fake pastors that you see in the churches, man. He was basically just robbing money from his congregation, living fat, and basically just bumping them, man. Mm-hmm. Right? Let me bring this scripture out quickly, brother Kashar. Deuteronomy chapter 13 and 1. If there arise you, if there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams. Now this mm. guy was a dreamer of dreams, man. He was just like Malcolm X. Martin he was Luther just Coon. like Martin Luther King, man. Mm-hmm. Right? They had that dream, man. That dream, well, really, it was really the so-called white man's dream, just to confuse the message. But he had that same dream that was given to him by the so-called white man to say, okay, you know, energize your people up, tell them that it's possible to, that they can go back to Africa. But what was you guys really going to do when you touched down on Africa, man? When you see all these hammocks in the bushes and that, throwing, throwing daggers at you? You think they were going to embrace you when you get back to Africa and say, welcome home? You don't belong there, man. When you go back over there to Africa, they know that you don't belong there, man. Right? They don't have love for you guys, man. First of all, why would you want to belong to a bunch of people that put plates in their lips, jump around with stars, fly swatting, man stinking as shit, God. you know, popping the, <laughs> popping the earth, <laughs> you know, this, these guys are crazy, man. They're fool, man. Like, these guys are crazy, with the, you know, they got what, tribal scars and shit, man, God. big ass, um, big ass earrings opening up, you know, the size of their fit, they're crazy, man. God. You know what I'm saying, man? You don't even want to be a part with these, with these damn Hamites, man. And that's really who they descend from. They're really Hamites, man. Yeah, right? They yeah. ain't our people, man. Right. Okay, and we're going we gonna to go into that. Yeah. Right? It, you got more? Go on, go on. That's all right. It says, his organization took as its motto, one God, one aim, and one destiny, and looked to the uh, uh, literal fulfillment of Psalm 68 and 31. Mm. Okay, so now let's read it. I'm going to read Psalm 68 and 31. I ain't going to read it because they ain't got the KJV up there, man. Right. No, we're going to read it the right way. That's right, man. All right. Uh, Psalm 68 and 31, okay? It says, Princes shall come out of Egypt, mm. and uh, Egypt, Ethiopia, shall, shall soon stretch out her hands unto the Most High. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, when you read that verse, you think, okay, cool, he's looking for the fulfillment of Psalms 68 and 31. Yeah. But he didn't tell you to go up a couple of verses, so let's oh, do that. Oh. And then get the full, because look, man, the scriptures break down themselves, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's really get, let's get, the scripture says to hear the conclusion of the whole matter, yeah. you know? You can't just pick and choose what verse you want to throw out and then break it down on your own understanding. It says, uh, verse 29, I'll start from here. It says, because of thy temple at Jerusalem, Shall kings bring presents unto thee? Mm. Hold on a second. It says, rebuke the company of spearmen, the multitude of the bulls, with the calves of the people, till everyone submit himself oh. with pieces of silver. Oh. Scatter, <clears throat> scatter thou the people that delight in the war. Princes shall come out of Egypt and East Ethiopia yeah. and sh- soon stretch out their hands towards the Most High. So that's talking about the time. That's a future prophecy, man. Come. That's talking about the time when we're going to have that rod and in we're going to be man. in the kingdom. That's what it's talking about. So you see how much of a difference it makes when you read up a few verses or you read down a few verses, right? Because that's what it is. When you see these, these pastors, when they butcher scriptures, all you got to do, go to that scripture they're butchering, read up, a, <coughs> read up a verse or a few verses, or from the start of the chapter, then you're going to get the whole picture of what it's actually talking about, man. That's right. Right? Because to teach a lie, you, some, to some extent, you have to know the truth, man. That's right. Right? That's what most of these guys do, man. They butcher the scriptures, man. And they don't give you the full context of the scripture. You gotta go and read it, read it for yourself. That's why the scriptures say, "Blessed he that read it, man." And that's what a lot of you Rastafarians don't do. You don't read, man. Nah, all they do is smoke weed. All you do is smoke weed. They don't read, man. Think right? They, think they're deep, you know? Yeah, and think that they think that they're deep, man. You know, oh, I did think, you know, this, <laughs> the eye, the eye, for the eye, the eye. That's that's what you guys are about, <laughs> bullshit, man. Right? I and I this and I and I that. Selassie I. Rastafari. That's all they do, man. Pure hype, man. <laughs> and that's what Benjamin <laughs> Benjamin is long to shout, man. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. hey, the scriptures say Benjamin shall yeah, raven as a wolf, wolf, man. Can't. And that's prophecy in itself, man. But you guys, you guys are bugged out, man. You gotta stay away from that weed, man. Yeah. Put the weed down, man, and just look. 
Just look, man. Just listen to watch the Apostles videos, man. That's right. I, I, I implore you. That's right. <laughs> you know, because that's, that's right. what we did. Yep, yep. That's what we did, man. And now the Lord, hey, the Lord sucks with us, man. Brock of the Yahweh, Shim Yahweh, Lord willing, we of the elect, man. We want to get saved out of the so-called white man's kingdom, man. We don't want to build a kingdom within his kingdom, man. Or a society within his... That's off, man. All right, first of all, that's that's unbalanced, man. If, in order to have a kingdom, you need subjects. Yep. You need slaves. You have to. All right, when we have our kingdom, we ain't just going to be, oh, all, right, all the other nations, all right, yeah, look, you can just, you can build with us, man. No, fuck that. Bro, how, You're going to work for us. How are you going to be equal with everyone? Then who's going to do the dirty work, man? If everyone's equal, right, and everyone's on the same level, no, one, no one's going to be based, then who's going to do the dirty work? Who's going to build the kingdom, man? Right? You need levels, man. Like Apostle Taha says, there's levels to this thing, man. There's levels to this truth and there's going to be levels in the kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. Not everyone is going to be on the same level. Even in Israel, not everyone is going to be in the same level. Mm. Right? The two third ain't going to be in the same, on the same level as the one third, man. That's, that's just the way it is, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They're going to be blessed. They're going to be like, more blessed than the heathen. Right? They're going to be way above the heathen. But they ain't going to be on the same level as the elect, man. Right. That's just the way things go. The, the Lord, Yehobah Shem Yahweh has always set up an order with things, man. That's right. Right? With, with the animal kingdom, with, with men, with everything, man. It's with your order. man and your woman. There's always order, man. Mm -hmm. right? right? That's right. All right, let me read this verse again. Go on. Back in Psalm 68 and 31. And princes shall come out of Egypt... Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto the Most High. Now let's see who the people of Egypt and Ethiopia descend from. This is the Zondervan's Compact Bible Dictionary, right? Mm -hmm. You can get it for yourself. I'll put it on the screen so you, you know, you can get it for yourself. You can get it for about £10 on eBay, man. Yeah. All right? And if you go to Ham, all right, because Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So now let's read the definition of Ham. It says, the youngest son of Noah, <clears throat> born <clears throat> about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. Mm. He became the progenitor of the dark races. Mm. Not the Negroes, but the Egyptians. Mm. Ethiopians. Mm. Let's read Psalm 68 and 31 again. Mm. Okay. Princes shall come out of Egypt. Ethiopia mm. shall soon strip out her hands unto the Most High. Come. Okay. Now when you go into the Egypt and Egyptians and the Ethiopians, let's look and see what the Bible says about the difference that he created between us. That's right. Okay? Man. Now we're going to jump to Exodus. 11 and 7. All right, Exodus 11 and 7. Okay, it says, But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue mm. against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord Yehowah doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, man. That's right. But here it is. You guys want to go back to a continent called Africa, man. You want to jump up and down naked with spears, man. Come Swatting on. flies. Eating mud cakes, man. Fuck you man. guys have bugged the hell out, man. We ain't like them guys, man. Come on. We've got a totally different spirit. spirit. The way we do things is different. You know, hey, we ain't saying that all Africans out there are Hamites. We ain't saying that, right? So don't get it twisted. What we're saying is there's such thing as Hamites and they're not our people, man. Uh, we're scattered throughout... All of Hamland, man. Wait, the Egyptian Empire. That's right, man. We just said the Egyptian Empire. Come. We were were we not afflicted? Were our women, you know, exactly. were we not popping their women? We scattered there. So don't be like from Ghana or Zimbabwe and just thinking that, you know, you are Hamite. That's not what we're saying, man. Because it, it says in the scriptures, my sheep hear my voice, man. So if you hear this word and it resonates with you, then it, it is for you, man. That you are Israelite. It's as simple as that, man. Right? But there's Hamites out there, they're not our people, man. Right? We are not all the same. Just because we have the same, you know, skin contrast, we've got the same melanin count, and we, we vary in shades, it don't mean that we, we're the same people, man. This thing goes deeper than colour, man. Right? And for the record, hey, there, there's, there's white Hamites out there, man. Mm. And there's black Edomites out there. I've seen them, man. They exist. Come. You know? They exist, man. Because that's what happens when you, when, 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 when you mix with women... And, you know, you lay down with certain women, man. And the generations go on and on. You get different different people looking different, man. That's just what it faces. is. Yeah, confusion of faces spoken of in the book of Daniels, man. That's why the Lord had it where you had to identify someone by their spirit, man. You've got to be spiritual. That's why it's so important to be spiritual. You cannot do anything on face value, man. Right? That is not that, spiritual. How did you said that? I'm going to get a quick precept. Go on. Uh, Romans 8 and 16 mm. 
The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. That's right. All right. So like the brother was saying, we've got a completely different spirit to these Hamites, man. That's right, man. All right, our people got flavor, man. Our people can sing. Our people can box, man. Mm. Our people can dance, man. Our people can uh, create things, man. We're inventors. Jacob yeah. is the former of all, all things, things, man. Right? That's right. All right. We ain't like these damn Hamites, man. We ain't base men, bro. Like, we, mm. you know, we got flavor, man. Scripture say we're the salt of the earth. Yep. What do you do with salt, man? You use it to season it up, man. Yep, yep, season yep, up yep. a piece of chicken, piece of meat, man. I mean, you put a bit of salt, you know, with pink Himalayan sea salt. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's how yeah, we yeah. be like to be getting <laughs> down, you know, since we came in the truth. Yeah, we right, don't man. fuck with that white shit no more. Yeah, yeah, hey, we ain't salt, judging, man. but, you know, but yeah, at the yeah. end of the day, man, look, man. It is what it is, man. That's right, man. You know, our spirit is completely different from these guys, man. Mm. And you can't deny it, man. It's just true. Like the brothers and dads say, man, it's just true. That's you right. know, it, we ain't lying. That's right. When, we, when you see an Israelite, man, you can feel it. When you hear an Israelite sing, mm. it's like, hold on a minute, man. First of all, look at the Edomites, man. They walk around. They ain't got no sense of direction, man. God. They're stiff as hell. Yep. You might be on a train with an Edomite. You're sitting there. Uh, um, uh, um, yeah, go on, go on. Uh, you know what I mean? It's very passive aggressive, man. Look yeah. at Jake. Jake might look you there directly in the eye. We saying you're right, bro. Go on, go on. You, you might, you might hit it off, man. You might go have on. a conversation with a Jake because that's just how we chime. That's how we. Jake's just lively like that, man. Go on, go on. You know, you know. But yeah, I'm that's not... right, man. That's right. Come on. All right, let's. All right, so let's. We we've now established what uh, Marcus Garvey was looking for the uh, fulfillment of. Mm. I'm gonna go back into the article. It says, and he looked towards the literal fulfillment of Psalm 68 and 31, where he said princes were going to come out of Egypt yeah, and Ethiopia. Yeah. Let's see what the Lord says in, in the book of Zephaniah about the Ethiopians, man. Okay, this is Zephaniah 2 and 12. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. Mm. So if this guy was looking for the fulfillment, mm. what, he's what he's really looking for ain't going to happen, man. Oh. All right. What he's really looking for ain't going to happen in the way that he thinks it's going to happen. Right. What's really going to happen is they're going to be giving us gifts, man. Yep, yep. They are going to be subject to our rules, man. Because they're going to be in slavery, man. That's what, Oh, you know what? That's my next precept. That's my next precept. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Isaiah 45. Salak. Because I'm going I'm to bring this out, man, through the spirit, man. Because we got we got to cut these lies, man. Yep. we got to pull down the strongholds that... The, the so-called white man set up, man. Because yep. right, the weapons of our warfare ain't carnal, man. And that's what Marcus Garvey and these guys, they were trying to be, basically get us to take it by force, man. Yeah. All right? They were trying to get us to rise up and be carnal, man. We ain't carnal, man. But even Marcus Garvey, you weren't even trying to be carnal. You were just bowing down saying, look, let us go to Africa, man. Mm. You weren't even on that, like, Malcolm X and Farrakhan vibe, man. Mm. He was a pussy old, man. That guy weren't even serious, man. He weren't even really coming out the so-called white man like he should have been, man. Right? He didn't have that spirit. He weren't he weren't really trying to rebel against Esau, man. Right? That guy's a clown, man. Like the brother said previously, that guy was laying down in the same bed as Esau, man. Right? He sold out, man. Taking right? crumbs off the master's table. Yeah, he sold out, man. Buying ships from Esau and trying to sell back to Africa, man. You sold out. You fat black man. <laughs> Isaiah 45 and 14. It says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. The labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia. Ooh, okay. And the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, mm. and they shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. Mm. They shall come after thee in chains, mm. shall they come over, mm. and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely the Most High is in thee. There is none else. There is no God. That's right. So at the end of the day, man, these guys are going to be subject unto us the way it, sh it, it was It was from the beginning, man. Mm. That's how it was. Look, man, we're the sons of God, man. Yasha Allah means he, prince of the power, man. Yeah. We are the princes of God, man. That's right. All right? These, these guys, they basically, look, man, the Most High told us in, in 2 Ezra 6 and 48 on down that they are like likened unto spittle. These other nations... I liken unto spittle to him, man. That's right. Man. All right, but because we transgress the the, the 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 statutes and the laws of the heavenly Father, man, he's put the basis of men. There's a so-called white man. Uh, he's given the, the earth into his hands, man. Mm, mm, and now we have to go to him for the one of all things. How degrading is that, man? Go on. All right. Hey, and, let me read another quick one. Huh? Go Isaiah on, forty nine and twenty three. And the kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. Ooh. They shall bow down to thee with their face 
towards the earth Whoa. and lick up the dust of thy feet. Literally. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me, man. So these heathens are going to lick up, literally lick up the dust of our feet in the kingdom, man. That's right. Right? Does that sound like people that's going to be equal with us on the same level? Because that's what this Garvey guy was saying. He said he's equal with the so-called white man. Does that sound doctrine? Is that in line with the Holy Scriptures? No, it's not, man, because they're going to be under us licking up the dust of thy feet, man. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's a cut on his whole philosophy, man. This guy was just a demon, man. So you, you guys got to wake up, man, you know? Hey, well, they, well if, it, if they're of the elect, they're going to wake up, man. Yeah, that's right. But if you're that's over right. two-thirds, if you're on the stock of the two-thirds, man... You're going to stay asleep. Why? Because the most is giving you that, that, that state of slumber, man. Yeah. Right? It ain't for everybody. Hey, the most is looking for that small sanctuary, man. Mm. And we're this way. We're a part of that small sanctuary waking up today. The tabernacle of David, man. Mm. And it's a beautiful thing. Lord willing, we enjoy to the end. That's right. Okay? And it That's goes right. on to say, uh, Verily, thou art a power that hideth thyself. O God of Israel, the Savior. Okay? They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. Mm. They shall go... They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. Mm. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. That's right. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. There's going to be an mm. age without end, man. Come. The kingdom is going to be everlasting. So we're looking for that literal fulfillment, man. Come. We ain't looking for his bugged out version of a fulfillment, man. All right? He's a false pastor, man, scattering the sheep. Yep. All right, telling us to go back to Africa, to, trying to glorify the, uh, the Ethiopians and the Egyptians, that like they're over us, man. They're under us, man. That's right. They will always beneath us, man. They ain't the princes of the power, man. All right, they're going to make supplication unto us. Mm. Here it is. God, God is trying to quote from the scriptures, but I just read a scripture directly cutting what he was standing for, man. That's right, man. What he was trying to push, the, the, the fulfillment that he was waiting for, butchering the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Get the scriptures right, man. The scripture says, if you look, man, you've got to be taught again, man, like the brother was saying, man. Okay. All right, the Ethiopian unit. Who did he have to go to, man? All right, he had to get taught again. I believe it was Philip. Philip saw him and he had joined himself onto his chariot, man, the Ethiopian unit. In okay. fact, I don't okay. get that, okay. man. That's the okay. spirit, man. Okay. You know? The okay. Ethiopian unit didn't even know how to break it down, but really and truly, he was the Jake, man, because only a Jake was going to understand, and that goes to prove that we're scattered even in Ethiopia, man. That's right. All right, because there's a spirit that bear of witness, man. That's right, man. That's right, bro. So, like, yeah, I'm just gonna get this real quick, man. Ethiopian eunuch, because the thing is, man, we gotta cut, we gotta cut everything that the so-called white man. He's basically destroyed our people, man. Okay. All right, it's Acts eight and twenty-seven. So I'm gonna draw for this real quick. Yeah, man. Hey, this, <laughs> this Garvey, this Garv, Garv, Garvey guy. You can see it's easy to cut these doctrines, man, so easily. When you use this, when you rightly divide this word or this holy scriptures, man, and you apply it properly, this whole Rastafarianism thing is a joke, man. And if you don't wake up from, from hearing certain scriptures, then you lost, man, and you meant to be lost. Because it tells you in the scriptures that um, the Lord is going to make some of you blind, man, and never come into this truth, man. And that's just the way it's got to be. It ain't nothing personal, man. It just is what it is. You just ain't of the elect, man. You weren't meant to get it. Because this whole Rastafarian thing is easy to cut, man. Right? Because you guys are not diligent. You guys don't go into the scriptures and actually search things out. Right? You're relying on, on fables, man. And stories that you've heard from years ago that didn't even correspond with the scriptures. Come. You know? Here go we on. go. Acts 8 and 27. And he arose and went. Behold, and behold, a man of Ethiopia. An eunuch of great authority under Candy's queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge over all her treasure and had come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning and sitting in his chariot, uh, uh, read, uh, in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, Go near and join thyself to his chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. And he and said, Understand this what thou readest? And he said, How can I? Except some man should guide me. Mm. And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. So that proves the point, man. You need someone to teach you, man. You need somebody to guide you, man. That's right. You might be an Israelite, man, but to be honest, man, just knowing you're an Israelite is not enough. Come you on. need to be taught again, man. 
That's that's the first principles of the oracles of the Most High right. that one should teach you, man. That's right. All right. The prop, hey, the elders and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the apostles of Great Millstone, they have their senses tried and discerned, man. That's right. All right. They're the ones that are being able to break down the meat, man. They've been doing it, man. Twenty plus years, man. All right. Giving it down to us, giving us the name of the Lord first and mm -hmm. foremost, man. Yes, How would we be not waking up to the fact that we're Israel if it weren't for those men, man? Correct. Alright, for, for the Lord putting the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai on those men to do that, man. Mm. Alright, but here it, here it is, a big blob, a big black blob like Marcus Garvey comes along with his, with, with his you know, with his sellout uh, deeds uh, and, and quoting scriptures and breaking them down the wrong way, leaning on, upon his own understanding, man. Alright, right, make, giving our people false hopes and false promises, man. The Lord's going, look, man, the Lord, he's already dead, man. Go but on. the Lord's going to kill all, all you Rastafarians, man. Yeah, hey, you Rastafarians are full of shit, man. You guys are actually full of shit. You know, we're dirty dreadlocks, smoking weed, no edification, rolling through life, and not making any use of yourself, man. You guys are actually full of shit, man. Most of you Russell fans out there, most of you Benjamins, man. Right? You guys ain't right, man. You guys ain't even, most of you ain't even looking for the truth. You just comfortable with being a so-called Rastafarian. You like the lifestyle of it, man. You like smoking weed. Dread up. Yeah, you like all of that shit. You like <laughs> just listening to the music and feeling the vibes, even though there's no truth in it, man. You like those half truths, man. Mm. You guys love the half truths, man. You you guys don't want to ever reach a hundred percent truth. You talk about it, but really you don't ever want to obtain it. You know why? Because there's too much work in your eyes, man. You know, mm. that, that weed makes you too lazy. So you rather just smoke the weed up and just wait and die and just see what happens then. You know, let me just see what happens. You don't want to obtain the truth now, man, because you guys are lazy, man. All that weed stuck up in your fucking brain, man. You guys are going to get a, a, a real serious slaughter, man. Mm -hmm. Right? If you don't wake up out of that madness, man. So I know a lot of you dreads out there are full of shit, man. Right? You mm. guys ain't serious. You guys ain't diligent. You guys don't search for shit, man. Come on. Too busy rolling up blunts, man. Good. You know, getting fucking high off your face. You know, all them demons jumping on you and shit. That's why you think you're deep. Yeah. All right? But I just want to make a quick point back in Acts. All right? Because it said that the Ethiopian eunuch, man, it said that he came to Jerusalem to worship in verse 27. Mm. All right? Now, I'm going to back this up with Malachi 1 and 14. It said, Cursed be the deceiver, but cursed be the deceiver, which having his flock a male, and voweth, and sacrificeth unto the Lord a corrupt thing. Mm. For I am a great king, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So if he was coming to worship the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, he was coming to worship the Lord in Jerusalem, mm. but then yet the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. So that goes to show that he couldn't have been a heathen, man. Yeah. He had to have been a jake that was scattered in Ethiopia, man. That's right. Okay, because at the end of the day, our people are, are like the sands of the sea, man. Yep. The Lord said that was, that was a covenant between the Lord and Moses, that his seed, hey, his seed was going to be multiplied as the sands of the sea, baby. Yep. And when you pick up a glump of sand in your hand, even when you're walking a few paces down, you're going to lose some of them grains, man. Mm. That, that's how easy it is to scatter sand, man. Hey, and we have an Ethiopian in our camp, man. That's right. That's proof. That's you know right. what I mean? He, he, he gets the word. He's an Israelite. We know he's an Israelite, man. So, the, hey, that's how we know these Albanians are waking up to this truth, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Because they're scattered everywhere. The, the Kurds are waking up to the truth. Philippines. Guys out there in the Philippines are waking up to this truth. Why? Because my sheep hear my voice. That's what Yahusha said, man. That's right. You know, it's prophecy. That's right. They, they, they just, they, but that's prophecy because the scripture says... There's this word that should be preached throughout all the world. Then yep, shall yep, the end yep, come. Yep, yep, yep. And that shows you that we're in the time of the end. Like we said at the beginning of the video, we see the finish line. We see the prophecies playing out, man. Okay. That's the testimony of Yahweh Shai. It's the spirit of prophecy, man. Yep. We are in that spirit of prophecy, man. Yep. And if you ain't dealing with prophecy, then the Lord ain't dealing with you. Mm. It's as simple as that. Hey, why did it need to be preached throughout all of the world? Right? Not to save the, the, the heathens, to save the Israelites that were scattered among the heathens, man. That's why it had to be preached throughout the whole world, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's the reason, man. That's right. That's right. Right, now let's get back into this. Go okay? On. I've got another scripture just to kick it off. It says, uh, Zechariah 14 and, seven, and 17. Now let's hear more judgment upon the Egyptians and, 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 and the Ethiopians, man. Go okay? On. It says, And it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth, Unto Jerusalem, that's all the families, man. Mm. Whether it be you Japanese, you, 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 you Chinese, Indians, which really you're Elam, yep. all right? Uh, you, you Moabites, you Ammonites, all right? All the families to worship the king, the Lord of hosts. Even upon them shall be no rain. 
Mm. And if the family of Egypt go not up, hold on a minute, are we supposed to be going back to Egypt, man? Yeah, are we supposed come. to be going back to Africa? Come. Are we supposed to be black? All right? You black unconscious guys, you like to push that shit, man. Come. All right? Well, let's read what the scripture says about Egypt, man. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, that have no rain, there shall be the plague. There shall be the plague where the Lord will smite the heathen mm. that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt right. and the punishment of all nations come. that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles, man. That's right. Because right, in the kingdom, we're going to have our laws in full effect, man. Yep. And if you don't toe that line like the so-called white man, he's got laws. If you break them, he puts you in jail, man. Yep. Fuck jail. We ain't dealing with that, man. If you don't toe the line of our laws, man, Street death. Pass. And that's it, man. The Lord, hey, that's all he wrote, man. Yep. And that's in the scriptures. If you don't cut, if you don't serve the Lord, man, if you, if you don't, if you don't come and uh, keep the feast of tabernacles, man, if you don't honor the Sabbath days, man, if you don't do what we told you to do, man, all right, under the, under the kingdom of Yahweh Bar Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, under the rulers, man, mm. the real rulers over the earth, man, the princes of the power, Come then the Most High said he's gonna he's gonna plague you out, man. That's right. All right? Ain't, you ain't gonna have no rain. You're gonna have famine. You're yeah. gonna get fucked up, man. And we gonna have them rods of iron and beating your asses to smithereens, man. Prophecy. Literally breaking pieces of your bones, man. Pieces of flesh. All over. I might, I might see an eye over there, a piece of your skull over there, man. Mm. That's how dope it's gonna be, man. All right. That's why the Lord says seeing is a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. What did you do to our people, man, when we were in captivity in Egypt, man? Why the fuck would we want to go back there, man? Okay. You know, why would we want to go back to that dead state of mind? But you, you got people like Marcus Garvey that like to push that back to Africa shit, man. Okay. Yeah, I got a quick one. Uh, this is really talking about Esau, but you can really put it on the other nations because they're going to get it as well. Revelations 18 and 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her, double according to her works, in the cup which she had filled, filled with her double, man. So we gonna give you a double portion of what we've gotten in the in, in the past captivities, man. In those past slaveries, man. Right, that first a thousand years, especially the so-called white man, he gonna get it, man. But you heathens, you gonna get it too. Whatever you done to us in 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 in, in slavery, we gonna do the same to you, man. And we gonna do it even harsher. Mm. Right? That's just how it's going to be, man. So you, you guys better prepare for that. You heathens out there, prepare for that, man. You're going to go through it. Right? It's prophecy, <laughs> so it's going to happen, man. I like that. You're going to go through it. You're going to go through it, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's uh, right. Jeremiah, what is it? 50, 50, 50? My world should not return unto me wide, man. If the Lord oh, said it, eyes, yeah, it's yeah. going to happen, man. Let me get that. Right? That's what people need to really understand. If go the on. Lord, Yahabah Shem Yahashah, has said something in these scriptures, it is definitely going to come to pass, man. That's right. Right? You can read that one, but I'm sure. Isaiah 55 and 11. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Mm. It shall not return unto me void, mm. but it shall accomplish that which I please, mm. and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Yep. That's all right? it, man. That's so all it. these prophecies that, you, that you're hearing about right now, man, yep. right, coming over to us in chains, licking the dust off, off, the, off, off the floor, man, yep. all of these prophecies, they're going to come to pass because the Lord, hey, he's a power that changes not, man. That's right. All right? Everything that the Lord says, and he said it, man, he ain't going to go back on his word, man. That's right. Okay? That's right, man. All right, now I've got to, um, I'm going to carry on with this article right here, man. It says, Garvey embraced Washington's ideas and returned to Jamaica in 1914 to found the to found the uh, Universal Negro Improvement Association with the motto "One God, One Aim, One One Destiny." Mm. After surveying the racial situation in America, Garvey was convinced that integration would never happen, and that the only economic, political, and cultural success of on the Afri on the part of the African Americans would bring about equality and respect. God. With this goal, he established the headquarters of the UNIA in New York in 1917 and began to spread a message of black nationalism and the event and the eventual return to Africa of all people of African descent. Mm. His mm. ban of black nationalism had three components. Unity, pride, which the Most High ain't dealing with pride. God. Okay, that's at the top on the Most High's hit list, man. That's right. All right, the Most High hates pride. A proud look is what the Most High hates. That's right. In the African uh, cultural heritage and the complete autonomy, Garvey believed that people of African descent could establish a great independent nation 
in their ancient homeland of Africa. Mm. Now, this is the thing, man. Like the brother was saying earlier, man, you guys like to stop at Africa. Like, like, like we didn't tr we didn't flee into Africa, man. Mm. All right, when uh, Jerusalem got taken down, man, by them mm. Edomites, man. Yep. All right, under the under the rule of uh, Titus and v uh, Vespasian, Vespasian, man. Yeah, all right, at the end of the day, we were fleeing for our lives, man. Some of us even got besieged. Some of us fled to Masada, man. Yeah. There's stories about you can watch a documentary on that. We our people had to eat our own belts and shit. Yeah. Some of us fled into the interiors of Africa, man. All right, into up there in Asia Minor, man. All right, uh, 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 Macedonia. All over the all place. All over the place, man. Our people fled among the dark nations. Why? Because they look like us, man. Yeah, they could hide. All right? So we could hide among them, man. You guys are so stupid. All right, but let. But he wants to talk about the homeland of Africa. Let's cut that with the scriptures. Mm. Okay, let's get Galatians. Um, Galatians chapter 4. Salak here. Let's see. Here we go. Galatians 4 and 26. It says, But Jerusalem, which is above, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Mm. Alright, so that's the real motherland, man. Alright, that's our homeland. That's what we're going to take back, man. Okay. Alright, because right now it's inhabited by a bunch of cockroaches, man. That's a bunch right. of white devils, man. Alright, jiggling their asses over there in Pink City, man. Mm. Tel Aviv, man, having gay parades and shit. The Lord ain't down with homosexuality, man. That's an abomination to the Lord, man. Okay. All right, and we're going to have that land back, but the Lord, that's why the Lord is going to destroy this place with thermonuclear destruction because our land needs to be thoroughly purged, man. That's it right. needs to be disinfected. And what better way to do that when, than with fire, man? An ultimate cleansing agent. Not even just fire, but nuclear fire, man. Hey, that's with the it's... spirit of the Most High in it. That's right, man. Okay? That's the ultimate cleansing agent, man. The spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh inside of a missile to do all that cleaning up man that's right. right hey to hell with the land of ham man the land of ham is not our land and it's not the mother of us all man you just heard it in the scriptures in galatians 4 and 26 that israel is the mother of us all man Stay that is proves to you that esau wanted to put this whole africa thing out there man mm -hmm. you know that lie that's a heavy strong demonic lie that our people believe in man that we all come from africa and he used Marcus Garvey and guys like that to do to it. To push it, yeah. Zulu Nation, Cut. all of that, man. Cut. All right, all of them guys, they perpetuate. They got guys like Polite, yeah. guys like Sarnetta. They're all about that black, yeah. that black culture, that black everything black, man. Yeah, yeah, Let's go yeah, back yeah, to yeah, Africa, yeah, yeah. Egypt, Imhotep, all of this yeah, shit, man. Yeah. But these guys are so fucking bugged out. If they just took the time to read the scriptures, Cut. then they would understand. Hold on, man. We're actually really Israelites, man. That's right. We ain't fucking Hamites, man. Yeah. We above all that madness, all that... All that Egyptian madness, all that uh, demonic shit they were doing over in Egypt, sleeping with crocodiles, you know, all of that book of the dead, all of that bullshit. We above that as a people, man, right? That is not for us, man. That is not for our spirit. There is no truth, wisdom, and, and understanding in the book of the dead, man, right? That ain't for us, man. That's not how you obtain salvation, man. That's right. The way of, of, of obtaining salvation is through Yahweh and Shimi Shai. That's right. And that's where it ends, man. The book of the dead ain't going to save you, man. That's going to bury you in a ditch and leave you there, man, until right. the Lord comes back. That's right. You know? That's right. It goes on to read. It says, we must canonize... Now, this is what Garvey said. This is quotation marks. Okay. We must canonize our own saints, create our own martyrs, and elevate to positions of fame and honor black men and women who have made their distinct contributions to our racial history. This guy's off. <laughs> he encouraged parents to give their children those that look like them to play with and cuddle, but he did not want black people thinking of themselves in a defeatist way. I am equal of any white man, he says. I want you to feel the same way. So he was pushing that whole equality movement, yeah, man. Yeah. All right? First of all, he was saying, go back to Africa. Then he was saying, look, man, I want you guys to understand that you're equal to the so-called white yeah. man. Fuck the so-called white man, man. Right, man. We ain't, e we ain't equal to a fucking cave dweller, man. Hey, All right, uh, Job spoke John about Clay. them cave dwellers, yeah, man. Let's spirit. let's John get that, man. Spirit. That was next in the list, okay? Oh, come on, come on. It's got Caucasians, man. All right, the word Caucasian means a cave dweller. Yeah. Okay, Job 30, 30 and five. It says they were driven forth among men. They cried after them as a thief. All right, because no one liked the so-called white people, man. Yeah. All right, because at the end of the day, all they did was spread disease, man. They, they were nothing but filth. They right. couldn't even speak. What they used to do was grunt. Yeah, yeah, all right? Yeah, That's why yeah. they got they got driven away. Because everywhere they, everywhere they went, they just spread madness, man. Ooh. Disease. And it tells you in that book, the 13th tribe, 
that was actually written by a so-called Jew. He goes into that whole history, man, of how the so-called white people used to actually live, man. They used to wear clothes for so long that those garments would actually stick to their skin, mm. right? Nasty, filthy people, man, right? They didn't bathe themselves. They would just wear the garments until the garments basically just dropped off of their body, man. God through just being, you know, decomposed on their own skin. That's how nasty the so-called white man is. That's how nasty his history is, man. And that guy who wrote that book, I believe he got put to death, man. Because he brought out too much information that was too hot, man. And they killed his ass, man. Because he was basically bringing out in that book, this is off the subject a little bit, but he was bringing it up in that book that basically, the, you know, the so-called Jews over there in Israel are not the real Jews. And he was a Jew himself. But what did that guy do? He diligently done the research, man. Mm. And he found out that, hold on, I'm not a real Jew, man. I'm just a convert, right? And you can't convert. It has to be by your father, man. Mm. Right? And that guy found that out and he got put to death for bringing out that information, man. And that book is also on Amazon if you want to get it and be edified, man. Mm. In fact, I'm going to start from the top of Job 30. Mm. It says, but now they that are younger than I have me in derision, mm. whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Why is that? Hey, man, I used to work with this Edomite, man, in a clothes store, man. God. He said he had an uncle that lives out there on one of them farms. Yeah. Man, he was a sheep shagger, man. Oh, this man. guy was shagging his sheep, man. God, All right? Yeah. That's why, hey, that's why Job said he would disdain him to sleep with a, uh, to sleep with the dogs of his flock, man. Because yeah. why a so-called white man would try and fuck your dog, man? That's right. Here it is, man. We're living in a society where, hey, man, a righteous man regard of the life of his beast. Yep. We ain't supposed to be doing that shit, man. That's right. But Esau, a fucking base man, he's going to take you, he's going to look at your dog and, and sexualize it, man. Think, you know what, let me pop it, man. Mm. He's, even the dogs are catching hell, man. Hey, they've actually got a whole porn dedicated to that kind of thing. What do they call it? Bestiality, Bestiality. It's now legal in 14 states. It's legal in 14 states in Babylon. So, hey, how can you not know that this so-called white man is the devil, man? You know? Go on, bro. It says, ye, whether too you might, might the strength of their hands profit in me, whom in, in old age was perished. For want and famine they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time desolate and waste, mm. who cut up marrows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. Mm. Right, Because at this time the Lord was basically setting them up, building them up yeah. right, to come out of that, 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 that beast-like state. Right? right, that's right because they were coming out, they were getting built up. That's why they were eating them juniper roots and stuff. Really, juniper roots are good for you, yeah, man. Exactly. All right. So at the end of the day, that's when they came out of it, and then they started to take us down, man. All right. And it says, and that's prophecy in itself because that did happen. Yeah. Look at where we are today, man. Right. All right. It says they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as a, as after a thief. Uh, uh, it says to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys. Mm. In the caves of the earth and in the rocks. So that's what the word Caucasian means, man. If you don't believe me, Google it, man. That's right. Caucasian means a cave dweller, man. All right? it, ain't, it ain't, you know, it ain't no joke, man. It is what it is. Yep. Okay? It says, they were chewed, oh, and among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools, ye children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Mm. Okay, but then Marcus Garvey says, I am equal, I am the equal of any white man. I want you to feel the same way. Fuck the so-called white man, man. That's right. All right, That's we right, ain't bro. no cave dwellers. Mm. We don't pop our pets, man. Cool. We don't pop dogs. We had that Edomite woman and she was talking about it. She was laying in the bathroom with her dog yeah. saying, oh, I have sex with my dog. I like the way he lick. Yeah, man, yeah, 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 these yeah, Edomites yeah. are through, man. They're through. All right, their kingdom is going down. They're being revealed, man. Their skirt is getting lifted and we've discovered all their private parts, man. It's over. That's all right? right, all their secret parts are being laid out, man. All right, that's why their tongues are falling upon themselves. Mm. They're getting sloppy with their false flags. Yep. All right, everyone's coming up against them now, man. Everyone knows that the so-called white man's the devil. Everyone like knows new. now, man. Hey, so you're going to see heathens start saying, hey, man, Job 9 and 24. They're going to know, <laughs> man, you know, that this so-called white man is the devil, man. And that's, that's going to really be through the prophets, man, of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, mm -hmm. making that known. I was pushing out this vibration from the, uh, you know, the apostles on down to the elders, down to us. We've made it known that the so-called white man is the devil. It's soon it's going to be common knowledge that, yes, yeah, the so-called white man is just the devil, man. That's just right. before it goes out, that's how it's going to be. Everyone's just going to know he's the devil, man. That's right. Common knowledge. Is this going to be a thing that everyone's going to know? In schools, they're going to know the so-called white man's the devil. Everyone's going to know what he is and what he's about. And they're going to know to avoid him and they're going to flee back to their own countries, man. That's right? Because right. it's all prophecy, man. This thing is going to come to pass, man. You know? Come on. Right. 
Now, in in uh, if I can read up from the quote on the first bit of the paragraph, it says, Marcus Garvey said, we must canonize our own saints. Mm. We uh, create our own mar uh, martyrs, all right, and elevate to positions of fame and honor. All right? Now, what he's doing there, the Romans 10, 10 and 3 cuts that. Let's read Romans 10 and 3. It says, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, mm. going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. Because here we was here we were saying he, we should create our own martyrs. Who are you to decide who's going to be a martyr, man? First of all, man, hey, man, a real martyr is dying, hey, dying for the name of the Lord, man. Exactly. That's that's what a martyr is, man. All right, dying for the for the hey for for for, for the faith and belief in Yahweh Bashan Yahushai, man. Mm. All right, this guy is talking about creating his own mark. This is a false prophet, man. All right, this guy is a false prophet. Talking about he's waiting for the fulfillment when the Egyptians and the Ethiopians are going to hang out and hold out their hands to the Most High. Yeah, they are going to do that in fear, man, because we're going to whoop their ass if they don't. Exactly. All right? Hey, back hey, when, when we got saved out of Egypt, man, all the nations knew to fear the Lord, man. They called him al Shadya, man. He demon-like power. All right, that's why they're going to say thou art a power that hideth thyself, man. That's why they're going to be in subjection and make them supplications unto us, man. You damn fool's prophet. All right, create our own martyrs, you know, and canonize our own saints. Who are you, man? Who are you? Fucking Marcus Garvey, man. All right, but you, you know, that's that's really it I had on that, that article. I've got another one. Go on. All right, but we can leave. We can leave that yeah. rust of, you know, we're going to go into Quite the rust of yeah. Lord willing, go on. you know, in another part. So, you know, Lord willing, you, you brothers were edified out there, man. You know, fuck Marcus Garvey, man. That's right. Fuck Martin Luther Kuhn, Malcolm X, all of these guys, man. They, they ain't of the elect, man. That's they right. weren't of the elect, man. They're through, man. All right? Now they know that they're Israelites, man. They're in the spirit realm. Yep. Now they, they know that they went off, man. Yep. And they're going to have their heads held down in shame in the kingdom, man. Yep. thousand years of uh, everlasting content, man. You, you know? know? They're going to they're gonna have that because while they were here, they were set up to be stumbling blocks, man. For, for you Benjamites that are not meant to be of the elect, man. You know, so really what this video was to do is to wake you guys up, you know, do your own research, man. As opposed to how always says, don't just believe us, look it up, man. Yeah. The information's on Google for you to look up for yourself, man. You know, match up the dates, man. Do all you need to do to, com to, to be convinced in your own mind that this is the truth, man. Kind. Right? We don't need to sit here and lie to you, man. Right. Right. We, we preach this word every Saturday, day in and day out, man. We do this, man. Yeah, it's the labor of love. That's right, man. You know, we this, believe in this truth. That's right. right. That's why we do it. But if you ain't got that same zeal, then hey, then maybe you just ain't of the elect, man. It is what it is. Maybe you're meant to be, you know, a, a Rastafarian, man. In gross you know? darkness. In gross darkness, smoking weed, man. You know? That's right. You know, hey, Lord willing, this, this video was edifying. Man. That's right, man. Right? That's, right. that's why we made it so it could be edifying, so you could wake up the whole for elect, man. Right? Right. Hey, but in the next one, man, part two, man, Lord willing. We'll go through a bit more about Marcus Garvey, man, Come. and um, Haile Selassie and all that Rastafarianism bullshit, man. Yeah. And Lord willing, man, you know, stay tuned for part two, man. So with that, all praises, honour and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, double honours to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone yep. that rule exceptionally well, man. That's right. All right, keep pushing this word out, man. You know, we're almost out here. That's with right. that, we're going to say shalom, man. Shalom.